G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle and welcome back to 7 Days to Die in Alpha 19 where we are back in our insane nightmare playthrough coming in to day 7. The sun is peeking up through the trees on the horizon, boating in what could be our last day in this world. There is... A horde unlike no other coming for me tonight. It's going to be big and scary and the zombies are going to be tough and ridiculously smart. And I am a galah at the best of times. So it's all going to go a little bit pear-shaped tonight, I think. But we have to do what we can. We have a matter of hours to try and prepare ourselves as well as possible <laughs> for our inevitable death. I just wanted to come up and enjoy the sunrise for one last time because it's beautiful like Rhonda. Ooh. There's also a little Percy boy down here. Have I raided you before? I have not. Let's put our loot and grogs on. Come on, pistol. Nah, nothing. Imagine that. Imagine we found a pistol on like the first like half an hour of the day before the horde. That's kind of the dream. So I find myself a slightly, well, just even another weapon. Something with a bit more like rapid fire to it would be lovely doubly if at all possible. But I'm not really holding out hope too much for that. I'm just going to go sell all my gubs to trading. Hopefully get a windfall or two, but start crossing all my digits and hoping not to die. So actually, because Trader doesn't open for another like two hours, I don't have a whole lot to do. I mean, I'm just like waiting for him to open his doors because he's a lazy, lovely person and taking a long time to roll his majestically caressed and chiseled booty out of bed and open his doors for me. I'm going to mine some coal and hopefully some nitrate as well i need that to make gunpowder to make the shotgun round so i may as well you know do a little bit of mining i'm not gonna put a point in some other load or anything just yet i'm gonna save that because if i find like if i find a pistol especially it's kind of the dream for, to, for today if i find a pistol i can spec into gunslinger because i've already specced into knives i've already kind of leaned into the agility tree just that little bit like i'm still gonna go into strength eventually anyway because shotguns are amazing i thought i heard the pitter patter but no it was just like the um no, oh, it was my own footsteps. Okay. <laughs> I'll still go into strength a bit because it has like all of like the the good default baseline perks like sex, rex, and minus 69 and stuff. So that's still going to come in handy later on. So shotguns are still going to be a thing. But if I can find a pistol and put a point in the gunslinger, I feel like that's like the best way to do tonight. Anything other than that is me compromising. I said that I needed, what, like two... That's going to be enough for there. Like 240 gunpowder, I think. I've already got 70. I've got... 69 so um i guess i'll find some nitrate and just try and like balance that out a bit any nitrate around looks like there might be some to my right over there always check the map for what's going on sure enough there is that white little splodge that is the nitrate that i was after so i'll grab some of you i don't see any zombies around so i think we're okay just try and balance that because i can get the chemistry station making the gunpowder i can get the workbench making the um uh making the gunpowder for me and no sorry making the ammo for me and i can come back later on tonight pick all that up and be ready for the horde i am gonna be gambling on the shotgun because it's the only gun that i'm guaranteed to have so that's a smart cricket i don't know man i don't know uh, this this could go any any of a multitude of ways and only a couple of them I'm I'm comfortable with. Look at that. 249, 249, right on the nips. They are both perfectly balanced, like all things should be. So I'll quickly duck on over the tradie. He's about to open up. It's all worked out pretty well on the timing front, I think. Which is good for me. I mean, normally I stuff that kind of stuff. Anytime I'm doing mental arithmetic, it's not really a good day. Especially today when I'm considerably under caffeinated from where I would like to be. Don't get too close because he'll teleport your ass. So like sit out the front and wait, I suppose. I'll repair you and start cutting down trees to make up for my wood shortage. A problem I'm very used to, but it's never been solved quite as easily as this one. Apparently going on beating on stuff gives you more wood. Take from that what you will. <laughs> Oh god, Trady, please open up. I'm losing my mind at your front door making terrible bloody jokes. Yeah, look, this is getting this is getting sus. This is getting sus. When things are going well, when timing's working out, I'm like, hmm, something's wrong here. The game doesn't give me nice things like this easily. It's gonna take its revenge before long. Are you still doing stuff? No, you're not. Okay, you're fine. 
Put enough fuel in you. In fact, let's just use that. There you go. 410. I need 344. That'd be perfect. Get you crafted away. And I'll quickly duck across the other side and use what I already have to make the, um, what's it called? To make the gun, not the gun, powder, the shotgun shells. Why are those two words just interchangeable in my head? I don't understand. Shotgun. Make all of you. It's only another 17. That's a little bit dismal, but something's better than nothing. How have I not raided you before? Loot and gogs on. There's just a car full of loot sitting here. Come on, give me something good. Ooh, oil. And spring is actually scrappy for the iron. And mushroom spores, you can come home with me and get planted at some point. Oil's worth a fair bit of coin. All right, let's have a look. What have you got? Ooh, eye candy as well. I can't not. I can't not. I'm a loot fiend. I need that looty goodness. Rock bastards. That could have been handy a little bit ago, but that's okay. All right, bud. All right, can I get that 30% goodness? Can I get 30% uh, better barter? Let's go with you to start with in case it... Well, I can only use one. I'd rather the 20%. Tastes like brass or ass. Hard to tell. One of those things shouldn't be a bad thing. I mean, with proper maintenance, at least. Talk about the brass, of course. Um, all right, you. Can I get both? Looks like I can get both. XP gogs on, buddy boy. Here we go. Massive inventory. And can you buy all of this off me? Give me all of that hotness. All of that. All of you. That one. That one. That one. That one. And that one. $4,000 reduce to spend. Four grand. Ooh. Double storage pocket mod schematic. Tempting. Already read that book. Cement mixer schematic. Everything's super cheap as well. If there was ever a time to buy anything, it was now. Oh, and lots of shotgun shells. For $2,000 redos. Absolutely. Take you. I'll also take the gunpowder. I'll take the concrete mix as well just to fix my ceiling. Oh, what else you got? What else you got? You're, you and me are about to be best bloody friends. He's also got a steel pickaxe. I'll grab you. Was it like $300 as well? I'm looking a little bit scant on the coin, but that's okay. What else is around? I probably should actually say that in case he did have a gun. I put all my eggs in the shotgun basket before I really saw what was out there and available to me, though, but looks of things, there isn't much. Even if there was, like, I can make some more money later and come back and buy it later on down the road, because today is the first day of Trady Potato. What's in your secret stash? A 4 4 truck for $42,000 redos. Forget leaks for 28 grand. I'm not used to being poor. I'm used to having more money than I know what to do with, just buying anything that catches my fancy. Nice look at volume 6, 5% more XP for kills at night. That would have come in handy tonight, actually. It's $700. Mm, yeah, okay. I have $21 remaining. I am poorer than how Bobby looks. Uh, thank you, kind sir. That might have been an interesting decision, but I stand by because I use my learned elixir and I have that book. I can get more levels tonight and hopefully get my life in some sort of order a little bit easier. In fact, what, uh, what jobs do you have? Anything? Wow, they're all a million miles away. Fucking all right, mate. Calm down. Jeez, I'm pedaling my ass around the apocalypse. Don't ask me to go across country, you rude git. Grab my gunpowder, though. To be honest, it does seem kind of redundant now that I just bought a big stack of it. I was say, that looks like... Oh, yeah, there we go. Some more gunpowder there, too. There's, like, little, like, containers still just, like, out and about that I haven't raided before. So it's worth double-checking, given I missed an entire car. Neither of you guys can be raided. Nope, you're fine. Okay, shotgun. Make that. Make another 53. I'm, I should be relatively okay come the end of this, I think. I should be relatively all right. Uh, you don't really have a place, though, do you? I guess I'll just hold on to you for the moment. Like, oh, sorry for the wrench, actually. There we go. Because I normally have, like, my wood axe, my pickaxe, and then my shovel. That's my normal kind of layout. I don't know why I still have a hammer on me, actually. That's about, uh, about right, I think. All right. Nice. Get you sorted. Let's go see Jen. She was, she's got for me. I mean, I don't have much money anymore. So even if she has something good, there's not really much point. But at least I'll have the knowledge of what she's got available for me. Plus, she might have an easy job I can do nearby to make a couple of extra cheeky coins. And I'm never really good first to a couple of more dollar redos lining the insides of my jockstrap. So we'll go down. We'll see her. Kiss her goodbye if we have to. Cowboy's still out here lurking about. Bud, your girlfriend's inside. Go in there. I'm sure you get a ravenous Vulcan. Oh, 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 no. I tried to save it. Oh, I did save it. Thank God. That's a big fucking cliff. I was just cruising about, having a wonderful time, minding my own business, and suddenly the world just dropped away from me. Oh, my guts dropped just about as much as the terrain did. Whew. 
That was Darcy, almost broke my legs. And that would be true, true wordle form. Break your legs a couple of hours before the horde sets in. Because of course you almost did. I managed to see it last moment though, and hang a bit of a Rui and slide down uh, very gracefully in the end. That was almost really bloody dicey. Um, where's Jen, by the way? Did I not mark her on the map? I didn't. That's heckin' bloody rude. We'll go like this. We'll go... No. Jen. Like... No, Jen. Jen. There we go. Did I mark the other trader? No, I didn't. We'll just go tradey for him then. Tradey. There we go. Always got to make sure you mark where your mistresses are. Don't want to lose track of them and then suddenly get your stories mixed up. Jenny girl, I do still have oh, better again. barter, but I don't have any it's money to do anything well, with it. So you're just going to have to... Uh, maybe give me a discount just for our history, but I doubt you're going to. I can barely even afford a hundred. I can totally just afford a hundred cobblestone. That's how impoverished I am right about now. But I am here just to have a squiz at what you've got to offer for future reference. You don't have a cement mixer schematic, which is the only workbench I don't have access to right now because the one at Traders is broken. It's the only broken one there, which is pretty ridiculously great for me. You got a, a Sammy the Sledge. <gasps> I need $300 readers right fucking now. How much can I sell all of these for? Only 100. I Jen, give me a job. Every time someone was just I still have a job from you. Damn it, I forgot. Trader Jolt. Wait, it's only like 300 meters away? I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I'll be right back. She has a pistol for 300 bucks. I mean, it'll be like 400 by the time I come back because my, um, my sugar butts will have worn off. That's doable. That's gettable. Oh, remember that time? Oh, remember that time when I read that book and I was like, man, I really hope I find a pistol. I found a bloody pistol. Jenny girl's looking out for me. I knew it would be her. If there's ever anyone that's going to look out for me and my well-being, it's going to be Jen. Oh, what a fucking sweetheart. Good to look at. Good to survive with. Oh, what a dame. Here's the joint just here. Park our bike. Oh, just like on top of the hill, I suppose. Just like over there. A far enough way to hopefully get some separation when the zombies spawn. And start digging up in the southwest corner. I've got two minutes to find this and get back to Jen. Admittedly, I think this should give me more the more dollar reduce than I actually need. It should be more than 400. I'm hoping so anyway. But if I can make it back with the discount still applied, it's going to be even bloody better. Jen's used to being very quick at getting the job done. I'm mean, usually just left far more disappointed than it's going to be this time. Come on, this is your moment. This is your time to shine. Speed is key. Oh, oh, <gasps> speed is absolutely key. Speedy boy gets the job done. Look at that. Of all times to dig directly on top of it, now is it. Up, out, grab. Come on, come on. Reach, you fucking sack of shit. It's just there. Come on. Here we go. What have you got for me? Chrysanthemum seed, I can sell you at the very least. I'll take all of those and I will take that and up and run. Excuse me, Mo. Excuse me, Mo. I don't actually care if you tickle me this time because I have to go and see about a girl. That way. That way. There we go. Look at that. With a minute to spare. We're about to get a goddamn pistol. I don't even know what my 9mm ammo stores are like. I don't even know if I have enough ammo to really make this worth it. But it's just another option. It's another thing for me to go bang, bang and murder zombies with. It's a fallback plan. Because the Dubsy, as great as it is, takes time to reload it. And if I have a swarm of zombies beaten through the tissue paper that makes up my hopes and dreams, I'm not going to have a whole lot of options. But if I can have that pistol, it's 15 or 14 or 16 rounds even of zombie kill and goodness that I want in my life. Jen, I am back. XP gogs are still on. There's a clown outside. I, I do so not care. I mean, that's a lot of shotgun shells as well. Jen's that. real looking after me. Give me that. I mean, I want to go faster, Jen. Drum magazines. 10 more damage to 44s. I'll take the drum magazines. Really quick. Inventory. Got to go faster. Pistol. Bye. I have $2,000 now. Holy shit, am I rich? She's also given me the opportunity for a special job, which is opening trap house to the east. I might actually, I might actually save that because I feel like if I do that from Bobby Boy, he's going to send me down to Jen, which I go anyway, so I can get like free money. But she did say it's, well, 1.9 kilometers to the east, which is a long bloody way. That's west, Josh. East is like that way. So it's about there somewhere. Probably at the other end of this main highway. So, okay, that's doable. Now that I have all this money though, let's see what else you have available to me. I kind of got distracted by the pistol and ran off clicking my heels into the distance like I'm trying to freaking get home from the yellow brick road. 
I will take... Wow, it's expensive. 27 rounds for 500 bucks. What are your stats, actually? Magazine size 16. Nice. 32 damage. I mean, I might have to repair you, but that's going to be okay. If Do I you have... You've got another eye candy. I'll take you, but you don't have another better, uh, another bartering candy. Okay. Okay. That's all right. That's towards in your secret stash. A crossbow. No. Gyrocopter schematic. Mm, maybe later. $6,000 for a motorcycle chassis. And wasteland treasures. Oh, RRS mod schematic. Mm. I don't know. What about like, have, like a machete or a knife of some kind? You have everything else a boy could dream of. <laughs> what else do you have? This may not be an amazing decision for a host of reasons, but I'm going to spend all my money on the pistol. I can't buy that many. Can I buy like a hundred? Maybe more so. I'll just spend, let's just spend like two grand. So grand, sure. It's heckin' expensive. I do have a skill point. Actually, I've got two skill points now, no, don't I? Was a good deal. I do, but I wanted to put one into Pea Shooter to get my Gunslinger perk up because I do have the pistol now. Or I'll put the other... I was going to put the other into Better Barter. I was going to do it because it gives me a slightly better deal. But I think maybe shotguns. Yeah, I'm going to be using the shotgun. Let's go like that. Let's not be silly, Josh. Offense first, other things later. Uh, and I'm going to buy that 9mm ammo. As much as I can, at least. But I think it was like 120. Yep, sure. That'll do. In you go. Nice, nice, nice. I feel good about that. Business. I feel really good about that. What a time. Jen, Since, you know, somehow you just... Somehow you just made all my dreams come true. I mean, I shouldn't be surprised. You've been making my dreams come true for a long time, but now more so than ever, you've come out of the woodwork and saved me. Or it's like give you a nice little caress on the cheek and just like a cheeky little kiss as well. Love you, Jenny girl. You're an absolute superstar. You've also got a fetch job not too far. Ooh, a fetch job really close. All right, you know what? I don't have a whole lot of time on my sleeve. I do have some. I'll do something for you. And I'll even protect your compound as well. Someone's out here trying to get to my girl, but you picked the wrong day. I've never been more in love with her than I am right now. Come over here and teabag this barbed wire. Like that. Like that. Jen, I got your back, darling. Don't you bloody worry about it. This is the place that Jen sent me to. The place that she needs some zombies gotten. There's already a cloud outside before I even made it inside. There we go. Oh. All right, that was not quite the reaction I was expecting, but all right then, sure enough, you're getting your old froggy jump on. Oh, I missed that. That was a terrible shot. All right. I mean, look, I was trying to ask you nicely. I was trying to give you the hint, but you were just very persistent and very, well, not very persuasive, I suppose, but you were a bit of a tank. All right, that's fine. That's all right, nothing to see here. I'll just raid a couple of things outside, put on me loot and gogs and see what's going on. Don't have a whole heap of, uh, uh, usable inventory space. Derpo? Where Derpo? Where Derpo? Where did you leave it? That way. Um, I can't quite tell the distance, but it's probably, if I had to guess, maybe like there? No, that's the wrong one, Josh. Go this one, that one, Derpo. I'll have a squiz next time I'm kind of in the area, but I'm not super keen on tramping about out there. Hopefully finding, well, probably nothing. Got myself a better axe in the car as well. So modify you, swap you over for the slightly better one. Modify, bam, bam, wham, bam. Thank you. Well, that stony man, I suppose. You've been with me for a long time, but it's time for an upgrade. Speaking of upgrades, I need to make one of you and just put a box down at the front to store all my gubbins because I have lots of things not really conducive to a raiding when you're burned, uh, burnt, burdened down with it. What is my mouth doing today? What is my mouth buddy doing? It's all over the shop. All right, here we go. It's half past 12 on Horde night, but I'm confident enough that I've done as much preparation as I can already that hopefully that base will stand up to it. Oh God, that's scary. I, I jumped. I jumped a little bit. It was still like three meters away and I still panicked. Uh, I will take you for your feathers. Thank you very much, because I need them to make more arrows later. He tickled me a bit, but it's all right. Not too bad. Not the worst thing I've had happen to me lately, that's for sure. So yeah, like at least now I have done the prep before day seven. I'm not actively trying to build a base in the middle of a horde. Because who would ever be building a horde base while the horde is going on? I can't even imagine a Galar dumb enough to do that. Definitely not me. 
<laughs> Idiot. Anyway, let's get ooh, let's get down into here. Be a little bit more trepidatious there, Josh, because there's probably going to be some Muppets down here. And you're going to have to close the door. You're probably going to have to go shotguns out. In fact, before anything happens, let's go like that. Let's go like that and give myself a little bit of a fallback point in case things really do go awry. Because I'm pretty sure... Yeah, see? I was going to say, I'm pretty sure there's going to be someone alive in this room. But I can't see. Hello? No, no one? All right, never bloody mind then. See, I'm... I mean, I was going to say I'm going crazy, but it's not crazy if they're actually out to get you. Got some red dye. I'll put that in my pistol and get you reloaded. Just got to like putting dye in things. Doesn't actually help at all, but this is kind of fun. Just a nice thing to do. I will break you down for various iron components that I can scrap for future me to use. Thank you. Uh, scrap and scrap. I know springs are like good, but not really concerned about them right about now. That's all just extra garbage I don't need. All right. Let's see what's in the next room. That's fine. I thought the hatch is... Oh, God, Chelsea came out of there with a rain of knots. I'm bouncing all over the bloody place. I don't, can't really explain why. I feel like Chelsea's arms are just super bloody long. I mean, I'm not going to turn that down, am I? Just, like, put them right in there. Marinate yourself just that little bit. Yeah, I feel like Chelsea, of all the zombies, gets, like, an extra six meters of reach. She can really mess you up from a long way away. I see a crawler down there. I don't see anyone hiding behind the kitchen though, so murder you. I do like the crawlers because they're the only clowns that I can kill in one shot. Everyone else takes like 18 years and a lot of hard work to finally put down. Arlene, oh come on. Give me some penetration. If I had a penetration through that flimsy ass door, I'd have killed her in one shot. Or just complete, oh God, or completely whiffed it. Stab you, slow it down a bit. Go ring a ring a rosy a little bit. And then, ow, oh, missed the second shot. Pistol, pistol save me. That was a headshot. There we go. Oh, okay. Well, that wasn't particularly great, was it? <laughs> God, this game's scary. When the zombies hit that hard and move that quickly and just eat whatever rounds you put into them with barely even blinking an eye, it's not a good time. Oh, that's a good time. Not a sneaky bando. I'll put you on me thighs so I can read a little bit faster. Stick you in there instead. Oh, man. It's just, I, <laughs> I, I've gone from being like on regular difficulties, how I normally play whatever, you know, by the time you get to like having a gun or something, you can usually fight reasonably well and you can get into fights with three or four zombies without worrying too much. Now, two zombies is basically a death sentence. It's awful. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I did just spend or use all of my meat uh, to make boiled meat back home, which is kind of gross, but doesn't matter to me. I have the bacon and eggs recipe. If you don't bloody mind, absolutely that's a good time for me. That's going to be my mainstay for a long time. I've been saving up all my bloody eggs, waiting for this moment, and now it has come to fruition. Scrap you for the iron. What's in you? A bit more nitrate. Nitrate equals gunpowder, and I like gunpowder. No, nothing there. All right, cool bloody bananas then. I'll break down you, see if you're hiding anything. You were, still with the whole like main loot room to go through. Uh, you're worth $40 readers actually. I don't know why the dress shoes are worth so much, but they are. All right, what's in here? What's going on? There's the courier satchel that I need. I'll take you. Also grab the working stiffs. Don't know what I'm hoping for. I'm just happy. I'm just feeling good. And it's always a dangerous place to be. An iron shovel. Well, this is a great way to explain, like, when I was talking the, the other day about how, like, making a hunting knife wouldn't be worth it because iron tier stuff isn't good enough compared to primitive stuff. So, iron shovel, uh, block damage 44, stamina cost 20. Tier 2 stone shovel, block damage 42, stamina cost 16. So, it's only plus 2 for an iron shovel. It's made out of freaking metal than a blunt stone, but plus 2 block damage for more stamina costs. It's just, it's absolutely not going to be worthwhile to make myself a hunting knife. It's just not going to be, let alone the tier three shovel I'm rolling with. Just, yeah, nah. Just, yeah, bloody nah. Only worth $12 it is as well, so I'll scrap you for a fair amount of iron. Not even worth my time. Not even worth my time picking the bloody sod up. What's in you? No, nothing. All right, what's in the main loot then? Give me something good. Couple of blundy boys I can sell for a pretty penny. I'll scrap you. All right, not too bad. 
not too bloody bad. I forgot to raid the car outside before I go. I don't think I'll go back. I have to go back to Jet anyway, but I don't think I'll go and sell her this stuff. Ah, uh, it's not really worth anything, is it? You can go away. You can go away. I've got a cheeky spud. Just eat you while I'm out here, because why not? That can piss off as well. Yes, good. Turn the rest of that wood into frames. Um, I'm going to have to go see Jen. I'm not sure if I'll sell it right now. I might save... Oh, actually, before I do anything, grab all of you, all of the rest of my stuff. I might save those, like, Blundy Boys and stuff until I have, like, some, um, better barter candy or something again. Because they're worth a fair bit of coin by themselves. You're worth 172. You're worth 250. So if I start getting some extra goodness on top of that, I'm going to come out the other side smelling like roses, which is kind of fun. Check the mailbox on the way through for a couple of bits of paper, but they make shotgun shells. That's why shotguns are so good. The ammo is so easy and cheap to make. You don't need brass for them. And shotguns absolutely romp or stomp the zombies. Why would you not use shotguns? They're so good. G'day, Jen. If you got the dukes, I'll make the time. I don't have a lot of jukes. Amazing. You took all my jukes a second like ago, remember? More shotgun shells. Jen's real looking after me today. Also got archery. Learn a trick to save from 20% more arrows or bolts. I have a lot of ammo already. I think I'll go with the book because I always like finding all the books if I can. Any other jobs? Anything to the north? Yes, actually. I'll You're take you. That should hopefully be you. near my house. Good luck. Ish. Not really. Ah, uh, you know what? Stuff it. Stuff it. Got the XP goggles on. I'll sell you. I'll sell you. Sell that stuff. There'll always be other opportunities to make slightly more money. I'm not really into the whole, like, min-maxing kind of thing. I'd rather just get it out of my inventory nice and early and move on with my life. Anything else to sell you? I don't think so. Well, right. You just brightened my day. You brightened mine too. You really brightened mine. You not only brightened my day, you brightened my week and my chances of making it to next week as well. So Jen, just like rising to the top. The cream always rises and Jen is the cream of any crop you put her into. Ha! Huh. Let's get home. Let's go see Bob. We'll get the rest of the ammo that I've crafted in his workbench and go to our uh, nice little horde base and get prepared. Not too long to go now. But now that I have all that shotgun ammo, and I've got the bloody pistol, I, I, I'm daring to dream. I'm daring to feel confidence. It's always risky, but at the moment, I feel like it's justified. Bobby boy, I am back. It's just after five, so it's time to knock off for some drinks. Uh, not coming to see you, though. I'm coming to see your... No, it's not. There's lots of flashing going on over there, but it's just a glitch in the matrix. That's all right. It's like we saw a black cat or something. I'm here for this. You, more shotgun ammo. So remember when I was like, mm, I kind of feel like I need 100 rounds of shotgun ammo to survive. I now have 350 and more than 100 rounds of 9mm. So I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty bloody good about all of that. That's all looking good. I can read you. No, I carried you all the way back here. That can piss off. Oh, I might just go quickly sell you. I'm standing next to Bob. May as well oh, sell the useless scarves. May I see your inventory? Buy that off me. And uh, that's all Great good. Now, real quick, you. your Come special job, friends. opening trade routes, tier two to the south to trade a gen. See, that's the smart cricket, lads. Let's just play it properly. Now, next time I see Jen, I get more money just for going to see her. And getting paid to see Jen, oh, it's just like the dream. It's everyone's dream. Home sweet home. Just try and sort out my life. Uh, any extra materials can go into them. Although, it looks the things I'm... Oh, actually... Give me that. Give me my hammer back. I'm still holding on to me for some reason. I'll put it away in a tick. You. Upgrade that one. Upgrade that one. And that one. And that one. Look at that. Water tight. Zombie tight. Weather tight. Looking tight. It's a real good place to be now. Now there's no like elements coming in the windows anymore. Well, it's still the windows, not the roof anymore. Put all of you guys away. In fact, that was my tools box. So you can take... Well, actually, I need that for Horde Night, don't I? I'll hold on to the hammer for now. You can have it tomorrow. I promise I'll give it back to you before too long. You guys go into there. Farming can take those ones. That one. Uh, food can probably have that. And that. I'm a little peckish. I'm a little thirsty. So I've got all these eggs. I saved all my eggs to make bacon and eggs, but then I boiled all my, <laughs> all my meat instead, which is a rather silly decision. We've come out the other side. Yeah, look at that. Look at all the ammo we have. Do I have any extra ammo? I'm pretty sure that I did. Got another 36. Thank God I bought some. Yeah, it's looking real good now, isn't it? I'm going to take some of my boiled meat. I'll take my learn elixir. I will take... 
A stack of water. Zeus is getting real uppity upstairs, but that's all right. I've, mm, actually, that's going to get me reasonably close-ish. Maybe not. Okay, I'll eat you, my last of my chili, but that's okay. Because I want to leave some food over in the horde base just in case I do need it later anyway. It's always good to have some extra supplies around just in case. I'll actually take some of my frothies as well. And that should be good. I'm wearing my XP. God, I've got to learn links so we can make some extra, uh, extra levels tonight. Nothing else in there is really jumping out at me as a super necessary thing. I will take you. I will take you. Put you guys down here. I'll take some splints. And... Oh, you know what? I'll put the herbal antibiotics in the horde base. I don't really need them. And if I get bad, I still have the regular antibiotics back here. But if I get touched in the horde, I do get more than 5%... Uh, infection because under five percent the honey will take care of it, but gets a bit more than I can use at herbal uh, herbal antibiotics. And having them nearby seems like a good idea. Yeah, we're looking fine. We're looking pretty hunky dory, I think. I don't think there's much else that's super pressing for me to do. So actually, you know what? While I'm waiting around, and I've got the stamina buffs. I am gonna punch a hole through here because I'll have to fix up my ladder situation. Punch this one right out of the way. Good. So now, I guess not perfectly long my other ladder, but it is in line with the little rampy block there that gets me up to my level. So I'll punch that railing out of the way. Get you good and gone. I mean, this is still pretty sketch along here, isn't it? It's not, not the most uh, easy of uh, access routes, but that's okay. We'll go like that. Shouldn't fall down there. Up to that one, and I will grab whatever parts I can out of you, because you're probably going to be electrical parts. Give me that one. Break you down. Oh, there's a little lip up there, though. Might have to get rid of that one, too. Alcatraves are nice and things. Like, aesthetically, it's pleasing, but you're kind of in the way of what I need to do, which is just not on. Get rid of you. One more. There we go. Nice. So that... Doesn't hurt me dropping down to there, which is good. Get my ladders out and just go bang, bang, bang. I made more than I needed, as I usually do. All right, good. So what do I need to bring with me to the hall? Because it's about to all kick off and I should really have my shit in order. I definitely need my hammer. I'll use the, uh, the box that's over there as like a storage for my everyday carry stuff, but all the excess stuff can go into there. You especially. I will take the iron with me just in case. I'll take the wood with me just in case. That stuff can all go away. Okay. All right. It's now 8 o'clock. It's very red outside. If you weren't sure the horn was coming, the thunder will let you know. Down to there. Over to there. Let's go to the base. Let's get ready to go. No turn back now. It's now or never. Put just the bottom hatch up for now. Like, the top hatch is nice, but I need to be able to see the zombies coming for me. So, I'll just go like that. Quickly run upstairs and drop off everything in here that I don't need. Um... I'm kind of hungry, kind of thirsty, so I'll quickly just eat some more boiled meat, just cause. Rest of you can go in there. I'll drink you when it all kicks off. That can go in there too. You guys can stay with me, because I will need to do repairs overnight. I have some more medical supplies there. Put all that stuff down there in case I need to find it. Ammo, important. Keep that with me. Tools, less important. You can all go like that. Keep the bandages on in case I start bleeding out. And I think... That's going to be about right. Don't need you guys for the moment. I do need repair kits though in case my guns break. Am I missing anything? I don't have bones. Give me that real quick. I'm going to quickly run outside and find a goop pile. I'm not really anticipating using my knife very much tonight, but I'd rather have the bones to repair it if I really need to. Where, where's all the goop? Where's all the goop? When I don't need the goop, there's goop bloody everywhere. But as soon as I need one little femur, suddenly the game's like, nah, mate. Like a goddamn Australian sheep. There's none. There's absolutely bloody none. The game's given me the old heave ho and told me to get stuffed. So, all right, I guess we're gonna get stuffed then. Was there anything around the corner, maybe? I don't wanna go too far away from home because I don't wanna be traipsing about out here when the zombies show up. In here, maybe? I could have sworn I saw some somewhere I was riding over. No. Nope. Oh, I thought... <sighs> I saw that, and I thought it was a bloody big dire wolf. But no, it's just a little wheelie bin. All right, well, we're shit out of luck then, aren't we? Let's get back <laughs> back to our little base and cower down. 45 minutes to go. Let's just make sure everything's in working order. Check the outside, make sure there's no holes. That's all boarded up. I, I mean, I'm still nervous about this bit around here. I hope I... I 
I hope I got that right. If it was a seam, I hope I fixed it. I didn't check this side though. Is that a seam as well? Run inside and just double check it. Last thing I need is him coming through the walls. No? Nah, see that one's not that one's not hurt. That one is. That one's not. So there's definitely another block on that side. Oh, thank God. Alright. We're in. We're locked. We're ready. Oh my god. Oh my god, no. You are kidding me! It's not the horde! It's just a wandering horde! You are having a fucking laugh game! You can't send a wandering horde at me! Ow! At bloody tens of horde time! That's heckin' fucking rude! Well, I guess we're getting a trial run of the horde base before the horde shows up. Ah, uh, this was not what I anticipated! This is not what I had in mind! I can't believe it. I can't, I can't think of that ever happening before. I've, ow, I've had, um, like, you know, a horde show up on the horde day, but never immediately before the horde actually comes in. That's ridiculous. All right, well, nothing we can really do about it. Double tap, you didn't die from that though. <laughs> Lucky I've got extra ammo, because I'm gonna bloody need it. Hey, look at that. Now the horde started. Despite the fact there's already zombies trying to get at me. Now the horde's actually here. Oh my god, that's that's ridiculous game. That's bloody ridiculous game. You can't be doing that tomfoolery. That's heckin' bloody rude. I forgot the Molotovs as well. Ah, fuck. Oh, I forgot the load elixir as well. Quick, get it in there while there's still a big pack in front of you. Good, I wish I had brought the, uh, the Molotovs with me. Would have sorted these clouds out nice and quick. But instead, we're just going to have to go with the shotgun. Shotguns or no guns. I mean, I've got the pistol as well, I suppose. But we're doing okay for the moment. Go like that. Might even use this opportunity once I'm reloaded to quickly upgrade you. Make sure you're nice and happy. Just try and go for headshot shots. Use the sights. And completely miss. Nancy's bobbled and weaving and going full Muhammad Ali. That's right. I'll show it to your friends. If I can't hit Nance, I'll murder all the social life. Maybe she'll just like take the hints and piss off. I think I hit them by accident. I did actually. Oh my god, there's so many. There's so many. I don't even really think I finished off the Wandering Horde before all these clowns showed up. Oh, that was nice. That was a double decap on Nance. Serves it right too, because she gave me a good hiding. Now I'll use the first aid kit just to not ruin all of my hydration. One there, one then. Nance's arms, man. They're so bloody long. I mean, I'm into long legs and things. Long arms not really what I look for, but apparently Nance has got it going on like she's freaking Stacy's mum. Come on, get that. Upgrade you again. Don't let that hatch fall. Hatch falls, I die. That's all right. Let's keep on focusing. Keep on focusing and we'll be okay. Go like that. How are you guys looking? You're a little bit cracked. Get you nice and good. Get you nice and good. Let's go pistols for a bit. Just because I do have points in it anyway, so probably not a bad idea to take advantage of that. Uh, excuse me, can you off my hatch, please? You weren't invited. You weren't invited to this party. I know you're like, you know, hanging out with Arlene. And she's the queen of invasion. But you gotta stop that shit. We're doing all right. We're doing okay. It's thinning out. Oh, I think I had a little bit. Don't get too close. So, like, I'm too curious. I keep wandering forward to have a look down at the zombies on the ground. And forgetting that if I go forward, they can reach me. So, this is why... This is why I with like the hatch hallway and stuff. I have a secondary hatch open behind the first one up over here. It's purely to stop me being an idiot. So I don't walk too far forward and get my noggin clapped. There we go. I'm back to full health at least. Put one through your face. One through your face. Cop that. Owls. Old mate Panda Pants over here is still getting up again. Stab you a little bit. Oh, reload. Hang on a second. I'll be right with you. There's a little bit of a little bit of patience, please. It's like you're ready to call for help. And you're like, oh, we're experiencing higher call volumes than normal. You're absolutely fucking not. But this time, I'm experiencing higher zombie levels than usual. That is for damn sure. My shotgun's looking a little bit worse for wear. I might need to repair it in a second. So, go like that. Let's go now. Let's repair you now. Oh, no. Okay, not now. Fire the rounds first. Now can I repair you? Thank you. Why are you getting repaired? I'll quickly just stab all your friends out here. Like that. There we go. Shotgun's back and ready. I mean, even just dealing bleeding damage is nice. Oh, they're getting real. Oh, my hatch at the top is looking a bit going. There you go. You're fixed. You're fine. Ah, let's go pistols for a bit. Try and just like, you know, make sure we're familiar with all of the weaponry that we have at our disposal. Don't want to have to pull it out of the pinch and be like, oh shit, how does this work? I'm not even loaded. 
Gotta make sure you're ahead of the curve before it all kicks off. Oh, triple D cap. Pistol doing good things. And more importantly, it's all quiet. It's all bloody quiet. Don't know about you, but I'm not feeling 22. My heart rate is about 2200. Huh. We got through it though. Let's put our uh, looting specs on. Have a cheeky squeeze at what gums are gonna get. Gonna give us a fucking SWAT helmet? What? Wow. Okie dokie then. That's pretty freaking good. And some frothies while well, I'll toast to my success in a moment. Make sure you're good. Everything else here is looking pretty good. I can't tell if that's a zombie noise. Or like the breeze or something. I feel like I'm an NPC in Metal Gear Solid. Oh, it must have been the Brind. No, that's Assassin's Creed. I don't know. I'm fed. Nope, nope, that was a lag spark. You're too close to the POI and all the zombies spawned. I'm a brave boy, but I'm not that brave. I think at the end of the day, we got through that about as well as could have been hoped. I mean, we got through it with, I mean, it took a couple of scratches, but mostly because I was an idiot and got way too close to the zombies. And we got that SWAT helmet, which is bloody ridiculous. Modify you, take you out of there. I mean, I know it's heavy armor, but it just does so much more extra protection. It'd be silly not to. Absolutely lovely. Absolutely? That's not a word. Okay. Anyway, uh, why aren't you on? There we go. That one, I'll just scrap you, I suppose. And you can hold that. You can hold most of my shotgun. I mean, no, that's fine. Not all my shotgun ammo, just some of it. Went through a bit of pistol ammo as well. You're going to hold my medical supplies too. That can go in there. I need you back. I need you back. I need my tools back. That one as well. That can stay with me. Nope. Like that. One, two, three. That's just supposed to be there. I normally have six locked in. Uh, bow. Now, what I go raiding, is it better to have the pistol or the shotgun, do you reckon? I'm not entirely sure. I feel like actually because I did get some skill points, I feel like actually maybe... Let's go here. Let's go agility. Got two skill points to spend. So let's go the next level of agi and combine that. Oh, I was going to go deep cuts. Nah, I need more. I need more. I could go to the next level, you know. Maybe a flurry of blows? No. Running gun? Probably pretty handy. I don't know. I don't know where to put the other perk. But that's the thing, you know, like, do I go pistols and shotguns when I'm raiding? I feel like the shotgun has the better knockdown, but the pistol has extra rounds in it so I can panic and shoot more targets. It's tough. It's tough, you know. It's tough to know what the right answer is. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm going to have to sit here on the second story of my surprisingly good horde base. Like, I don't really think anything really went wrong there. It's up to the challenge nice and well. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's celebrate the fact we made it through. I mean, it's not quite, not quite sunrise yet, but I'm going to call it anyway. Up to there, and then to like, there. That'll do. Up where we can see the sky. Take our pants off, because traditions are traditions. And have a cheeky froth. I'm honestly surprised it went that well. I was not expecting it to go so. Turns out having some decent preparation ahead of time actually works wonders for keeping your organs inside your body. Who would have thunk it? But I'll take the rest of this stuff home, I need my bike as well, and get myself ready for another week of adventure in Insane Nightmare in the next episode. Because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like to make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.